Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathleen D. Graham, Amazon best-selling fantasy author and developmental editor and Reedsy reviewer. And today we're going to talk about how to send ARCs or advanced reader copies to readers using BookFunnel if you're a author. So before I hop in here, let me just say that this video has not been sponsored by BookFunnel. I am not being endorsed by them or reimbursed by them in any way. This is just an open, honest tutorial based on my experience. If you would like to learn more about BookFunnel or sign up for an account, you can do so at the link in my description box. And thank you, BookFunnel, for giving me permission, though, to share my experiences on their site with you on these videos. With that being said, let's hop right in. So here we are. I've got my screen pulled up. The first thing you'll want to do to send an ARC through BookFunnel is sign up for a BookFunnel account. Now let me say, if you don't know what BookFunnel is, you don't know how to use it, you've never seen it before, pause this video, go to my Indie Author Behind the Scenes playlist, and pull up my How I Use BookFunnel as an Indie Author video. That one will walk you through most of the features of BookFunnel that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and show you some of the cool features that we will not be covering today. Today's video is exclusively for advanced reader copies, which is not something that I covered on that first video. There are two different ways to send advanced reader copies through BookFunnel. One for the authors who have free accounts, and that would be by sending a landing page to a email list you already have. Um, the other is to use certified mail, which you see over here on the left-hand side in the toolbar, and that is what many of you may be here for and what I'm going to show you live. Regardless of which way you're going, you will still have to start by adding a new book to your bookshelf. So you'll want the completed, formatted version of your book, if at all possible, um, or a disclaimer on why it's not yet completed on your page. You can do that, though, upload your book by going to Add New up here on the left-hand side and clicking Add New Book, which will take you to this screen right here. You can then type in your book title, your series information, your tagline, your description, whatever else you would like on there. Please forgive my voice today, you guys. I'm still not over COVID and my voice sounds a little weird. Once you've created your book, you will then have the option to upload your file by going to Books, uh, or you should be prompted right there. In this case, I'm doing Splitting Dawn, which is my book coming out in the Realm of Darkness set in October. And I have my official cover here, not the box set cover, because I do plan on eventually uh, doing more with Splitting Dawn, but more on that to come um, in another video. So I have my cover, I have my series information, and I uploaded a PDF. From personal experience, um, I would say to watermark your PDF. I do that with mine, and I also put an ARC disclaimer note on most of my files, advanced reader copy, not for resale, things like that. However, you also have the option of uploading an EPUB or a Leg Legacy Moby, which of course, we're all sad that the Mobies are going away. You don't have to upload those though to send arcs. Um, just make sure that you've got whatever file you want the readers to have. Once you actually have your book set up, you have your two choices. And we're going to go through the landing page first because it's simpler. Uh, but you just go over here to add new landing page. And then you want to do a simple download page without email collection. The reason for this is because uh, you should already have the email addresses for the people who are signing up to be your advanced readers. I know there are some authors that don't, and in those cases, they can use a sign-up page where they have to give you their email address in exchange for a copy of the book. Uh, but if you're sending a link to your current reader list, like your current newsletter list that have signed up to read your ARCs, then you just need the simple page. They shouldn't have to give you their email a second time. Uh, so once you do that, you'll click the book that you want to do, in this case, Splitting Dawn, PDF version, and click Create Landing Page, and the rest is sort of simple from there. You fill in the page name, the day you want it to expire, and if you have any custom settings, like custom notes you want to put in or anything like that, you could go over here and say Page Text, 
use custom description and type that in here. Something like, thank you for reading the advanced reader copy, yada, 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 the general gist. If you don't know much about advanced reader copies yet and they're brand new to you all together, don't worry, I plan on releasing another video on that in the next week or so. So subscribe to my channel for that. And then once you have that done, you click save download page. I'm actually going to show you um, one of my download pages already. So here's Slayer Queen. And it will give you a link that you can copy and paste into the body of your email or into a button or something for them to click. And that will take them right to the landing page. And that will look something like this with your book cover, your tagline, download your free copy, read now, or start reading in your browser, etc., etc. But we're not talking about Slayer Queen today. That is my lead magnet. So this is something you can use for Beyond Arcs for lead magnets um, as well. That's a book that you give away for free in exchange for someone signing up for your email list. Now, this option, this landing page option, was available with the free and cheaper accounts. If you want to use certified mail, though, uh, which is what we're about to do, I'll click certified mail here. This is what you use to send out specific ARCs to your team. It will be coded with uh, information tracking that file to that specific reader, as well as showing you when they've downloaded it when they've opened their email or if they haven't done either to help you just keep up with who's reading, who needs a reminder, who doesn't need a reminder and that sort of thing. Um, in order to have access to this feature, you're going to have to have one of the uh, plans that are paid and you're going to want to make sure that you get one that includes certified mail because I think there might be the lowest tier one that's paid does not. There are two options though. I have the plan that does not have an integrated email because I use Clavio as my email uh, list manager and Clavio is not supported for integration on BookFunnel at this time. However, a lot of the other mainstream email managers are, so you can check that on their list. Integration would make it a lot easier because it means that you don't have to go copy and paste emails from somewhere else to put them into your list is my understanding. Now, because I don't have that, I'm not sure 100%. And if you know, go ahead and drop in the comments, yeah, that's how that works, or let me know how that works uh, for you. But this is just from my experience. So for certified mail without an integrated list, you're going to go up here, you're going to click action, and you're going to click create new campaign, which will take you over here. Similarly to the landing page, you're going to put in a campaign name, in this case, Splitting Dawn Arcs, for the Realm of Darkness box set. You can schedule it to go out immediately or you can schedule it for the future. So in my case, I like to schedule my ARC campaigns in advance so I can make sure they're gonna go out even if I get sick with things like COVID and don't remember. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could click this little calendar option, click the 13th, click the clock, set it for, we'll say 12, 30 p.m. and then that is when it will send. You'll select a book, Splitting Dawn PDF, and then you'll input your email addresses. Now this is the really important part. The email addresses are going to have to be on individual lines. You can't put them all in the same line with commas. So for example, we'll have test1234 at test.te test one two three five etc 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 but you'll have to put them in one by one there's no csv upload as of august 2022 once you have all of this done here you can go ahead and work on the body of your email i have one note to call out here you have to have already had consent to email these people these are for many legal reasons, and BookFunnel does not want to be liable uh, for compliance issues. So if you have a reader or a reviewer who didn't agree to be sent this email, you should not be sending it. And that might sound sort of strict, but 
is the way it is, make sure you just send your friends and family a, hey, do you want a copy of this book? Can I send you a copy of my book or something before you drop it in their email box? There are options to add names and other things to these lines, which is why you can't do commas. You can hover over the question mark here for details on that. Scrolling down to the email itself, you'll see a lot of things have been already autofilled just by the system. So here's your review copy of title, which would be Splitting Dawn in this case. Splitting Dawn is ready for you to read and review. Now, there are a lot of different opinions on reviews and Amazon and Goodreads Terms of Service are very clear that you cannot require a review in exchange for a book and you can't ask for a good review for a book. Both of those go against terms. You can give a book in exchange is my understanding. I'm not a lawyer, so if you need legal advice, you need to seek out a lawyer for that. However, I try to play as safe as I can, which means I want to make my reviews optional and something they do if they just feel like it. I'm mostly giving out these arcs to connect with new readers, and hopefully they will love my world or relate to my world. And even if they don't, I'd rather see an honest review um, than no review at all. Um, so, so I hope you enjoy it. When I get down here into this, I'm going to change the text just a tad from and be sure to leave your review and point me to it when you're finished, which makes it sound like I um, expect one. I'm actually going to explicitly say in mine, reviews are not expected nor required. An honest review is always helpful and appreciated. If you like to let your friends know that you're reading, splitting on, it can be rephrased. Sorry, you can. Add the Realm of Darkness box set to your currently reading or want to read list on BookBub or Goodreads. There we go. Nifty feature here is you can highlight BookBub or Goodreads, click insert and edit link and add the URL straight to the book. In this case, Ronald Darnus, uh, right here in this link. So um, I don't have, well, I don't have it pulled up to save, but you would have your BookBub version of this and just put it in the URL and then click OK. Um, and that will make this a clickable link in the email. Then once you have that, you can just go down here to reminders. You have two reminders to choose between. You can choose to send them a reminder halfway through the campaign in case they haven't redeemed their book, or you can send them a follow-up email when they can review. Now this is for someone who's wanting to really press that. Make sure you leave a review if you're comfortable doing so which again is a little more forceful than I am as an author, so I won't be doing that for mine. Um, but I will be sending reminders that, hey, the book releases today. I would love to hear what you thought. Uh, you can leave a review if you're interested on Amazon, BookBub, or Goodreads. And again, it's not expected or required. Just helpful if you want to leave an honest review. But I won't be doing that through BookFunnel. So here it is. We've got it all set to go. And then you will click I'm really ready, this check mark, and schedule campaign. Now, this is obviously a fake campaign because it's got test email addresses, but you can always click cancel. And as you can see, I have three others, two main campaigns and a one-off for someone that needed to change their email address set up in here. Once you've saved your campaign and clicked I'm really ready and uh, hit submit, then you have it changed to queued status. This queued one is going out tomorrow, August 12th at 1130 AM. And then you see the two that were sent. Out of respect for my readers, I'm not going to open these because it would show you their email addresses. However, 
if you click these, it will show you your reader's email addresses and you can use those to see who has received the file and opened it or received the email and opened it, who has downloaded the book and who has not. And this helps you reach out to people and make sure that the email didn't go to their spam folders because the emails are not going to be coming from you. They're going to be coming from book funnel. So I found it helpful to email my readers in advance and tell them that there's a legitimate email that will be coming from book funnel. It should be hitting their email box today. And I have that scheduled to go out before the emails go out from book funnel. Um, anyway, so then you can go through and you can also copy and paste email addresses into your email box and say, I saw on book funnel that you opened the email, but you didn't download the book. Was there any issue downloading the book? I did have a couple advanced readers tell me that they did download the book and they sent me screenshots, but book funnel did not show that they had. So I don't know if this is a glitch because of the type of device or the type of file. Um, or just a lag maybe in syncing. So I wouldn't sit constantly refreshing this page. I would make it like a once a day thing. Um, if you have a two week turnaround, go back here for a second. The amount of time they have to download is five days, one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks. If you have like a two week timeline and you want to send them a reminder in the middle, you can use that list to sort of see who has uh, downloaded and who has not. And then of course, if you can't reach a reader, you may want to just guess that they didn't receive your email or that email, something may have happened. Maybe there was a typo. And if you have another way to reach them, you might want to consider that too. But that is how you use BookFunnel to send a ARC copy of your book to readers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my indie author behind the scenes videos, I do have a playlist already, but I'll be releasing more in the coming weeks as Splitting Dawn gets closer to its release. And one of those, as I said, will be about advanced reader copies and uh, just using them this time for the very first time with Book Funnel as opposed to the last time where I sort of sent them out as a landing page on one of the free accounts. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.